Let's get a little bit more personal. When you reflect back on your career, Joel, what's been your biggest career learning? Um, that uh, our inner skills, our psychological, emotional, and spiritual is the most important. That without that, doesn't matter how much success, doesn't matter how much power, how much money. If you don't have ability to, first of all, find peace. Secondly, deal with conflict, maintain relationships effectively and honestly, uh, take care of your health, your own health, emotionally and psychologically and spiritually. The rest, uh, you become, it's like a hungry ghost seeking stability or, or um, peace. And <clears throat> when everything moves towards the, um, I really think greed comes from fear. Fear comes from, am I secure? Is, are the people I care about secure? Is the world secure? And um, the best possible medicine for that is an examined life and developing human skills. Uh, humans are very resilient. They can, we can live through all kinds of circumstances, especially if there's just enough of the th things that feed our emotional being and our, uh, I won't repeat the others, but you know, that, that feed us on the inside. And so when I talk to business schools and young people though, you know, Mr. Solomon, as a lifelong entrepreneur, what's the most important thing to know about business and entrepreneurship? Work on yourself because the technical skills, those are easy. Mm -hmm. Put your mind to it. You can learn how to make a profit and build a company unless you can't, uh, it, you can do it even without all those other skills, but you create a bit of a house of cards psychologically. Mm -hmm. And so what practices would you suggest to people to cultivate their inner skills and to, and to business people specifically? Well, the beautiful thing is that uh, we're now in an era where we have pretty much access to every food on the planet, every music on the planet, every bit of culture on the planet. And we have access to all of the traditions and practices about these inner skills. So we live in a cornucopia of abundance, of wisdom from every tribe, every part of the planet. And now we get to have the challenging mastery skill of choice. So how do you follow your instinct and your choice to find what resonates, what feels, what works for you? And uh, for a lot of us that have grown up in this era and are, and are probably doing it now, we end up with the embarrassment of riches where it's almost, we almost have too much. So we don't, we get confused by which way to go. Mm -hmm. And that's the great challenge of modern times. It used to be, we grew up in a certain way and this is how it happened. And you didn't, you know, maybe you split off and go to the next village and slightly change, you know, how you do the ritual, how you speak to the higher powers or things like that. But um, it's all out there. So I, 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 the simple answer to that for me is seek and you shall find. If you ask this question, you will start finding answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.